We're in a time where all major companies are shutting down, closing their doors, laying off employees and moving their companies outside of the U.S. Companies like Walmart, Sam's Club, Sears have laid off thousands of employees and have closed their stores permanently. Rising student loan debts, the brink of another world war, and now a lethal virus that has become a global pandemic. All major signs of yet another recession. As a 26-year-old young man, I was only 12 years old when the last recession hit. And I live in Las Vegas. In 2008, the housing market here was catastrophic. But at the time, I didn't really feel it. And frankly, now, like some of you, I'm a little worried. But luckily, now I feel ready. And I've created five solid tips on how to prepare for a recession. Chicano style. Stick around, let's get this video started. Stop eating out so much. Why? Simple. You're going to save money and two, you're going to feel a whole lot better. Right? Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, that's easy to say, right? Stop eating out so much. How do you actually do that? Luckily for you, I created 12 authentic Mexican recipes that you can download in the link in the description below. A lot of the stuff you're very familiar. I pretty much went back and looked at all of mom's cooking, all of my father's cooking. What did I love eating growing up? And pretty much through all of that, you guys know it's super affordable to make. Number two would be to create a budget. Now, I know that sounds, whoa, create a budget, right? I'm not a financial guru, nor am I here to reinvent the financial wheel. But I highly suggest that you get behind a plan and preferably this one. Dave Ramsey's plan for financial security. Dave Ramsey says that your income is everything. Now, if you have a lot of debt, and bills, then it's taking away from your own stream of income. Your income is your one way to financial security if that's all you have, that one income. So if you have all that debt and all those bills, it's taking away from that one thing. One way you can do that is by downloading every dollar. It's an app by Dave Ramsey. Pretty much you keep track of every dollar you make. Instead of wondering where your money went, you can see it and you can send it off exactly where you want it to be. First baby step would be to start minimizing your bills and saving up a savings fund. He says a $1,000 is a savings fund, but with everything that's going on right now, I would say about a month of your monthly expenses. Another one of those things on those seven baby steps is the debt snowball. The debt snowball allows you to receive dopamine immediately. What do I mean by that? Pretty much, it would be wise to pay off your debt if you have high interest rate on one loan and opposed to the other, right? However, we as humans right have this funny thing where if we start like when you clean a room you start throwing out all the trash pay off that small little loan as you progressively start paying off those small loans you're going to start decreasing the amount of debt that you will yes your interest rate will continue building on those other high loans however you're minimizing the amount of debt that you have where you could focus the energy later on those bigger amounts so I would suggest doing that and progressively start working your way up to the top ones. Now that we're done with that extremely boring but important information, I can tell you about tip number three, but I'd rather just show you. And it's about to be two o'clock, so we gotta go. So follow me and I'm about to show you exactly what tip number three is. Let's get it. Carne asadas, they are a magical place where your family meets your friends and your friends meet your other friends. A ceremony dated back to Mesoamerican times, a ceremony so special that of course, us Mexicans have mastered. Now if you're wondering why in the world have I chose carne asadas as tip number three to prepare for a recession, it's simple. What better way than to go through a hard time than with friends and family? Having carne asada is relatively cheap if we all pitch in. So if you have that primo who always shows up empty handed but somehow still eats more tacos than you, yeah, run his pockets and make him pitch in. Times like these are rough, yo. So make sure we keep bouncing these low lows and sipping these micheladas.
Tip number four would be to get a better paying job. Now, if you can increase your income even just a hundred dollars a month, that's a win in my book. And in today's time, there's an abundant amount of side hustles that you can do. One is to find a better paying job. And another would be to find a side hustle. And in today's time, there's an abundant amount of side hustles, right? We got gardening, finding free stuff on Craigslist or OfferUp, and then flipping it on OfferUp. I've done it a few times, and it always works. Ubering, babysitting, dog walking some of those rich folks' dogs up in the hills. And lastly, tip number five would be peace of mind. If there's one thing that we cannot lose hold of, that's our hope for a brighter future. We can sit back and create scenarios in our head on how we should have been more prepared, how we should have not got that car note, how we should have waited to buy a house, how we should have stayed at that job. Some say that's exactly what anxiety is. It's just conspiracy theories about yourself. So I want you guys to understand this. A recession happens every 10 to 12 years. So this was inevitable. This coronavirus thing, it was just a big, fat cherry on top. So men, a women are counting on us. And women, we're counting on you. Let's ride this shit together. I'm gonna catch you guys at the next Gatanasara. Peace.